So let's imagine we declare a variable called age of type int. And when we declare that variable, an empty box is made in memory, which will store any int value that we decide to assign to that variable. So we have this empty box in memory, which can store an int. Now let's imagine we initialize the variable age by assigning a value to it. So what that's going to do is it's going to put the value in this box and we can now use the variable age to access that value. For example, say if we want to print the age. Now this box in memory is one of potentially many other boxes because of course our program may contain more than just the age variable, right? So this means that there needs to be a way to determine where in memory the value for a particular variable may be stored. And to achieve that, each of these boxes has an associated address. Now, all a pointer is, is a variable with a value that is a memory address of one of these boxes. And don't worry, I'm gonna explain further. So let's say we declare a variable called pointer. And when we declare a variable, we need to say what the type is, right? And to say that a variable is of type pointer, we need to use this star. But we also need to say the type of value that this pointer points to. So we'll put star int, which means that we are declaring a pointer to an int. And that's because we're going to create a pointer that points to the age variables box in memory. And if you remember, the age variable is an int. Now, how do we get this box's address into our pointers box? Well, we can get the address of a variable, and that's any variable, by just putting the and symbol in front of it. So this will actually print the memory address of age instead of the value 42. Now it's simply just a matter of assigning that value to the pointer variable. So now we have the address of the age box contained within our pointer box. So that's a pointer just a variable that contains an address to some other variable. Now there's a part about the pointer syntax that can be a bit confusing. This star actually has two uses. The first one we've already gone over, and that is that we use it to declare a variable as a pointer like we did above. The second use is if the star is in front of an actual variable and not a type like it is when we declare a pointer, then that means that we're accessing the value contained in the box that the pointer points to. So if we print this, it'll actually print 42 and this process of accessing a value through a pointer is called dereferencing. Now, we can also assign a new value to the age variable through the pointer by using this star in the same way. So we can just do star pointer equals 21, and that will change the value of age from 42 to 21. So if we print this, it's actually going to print 21. And that's pretty much it for pointers in Go.